There's over 50 billion animals raised for meat in the US every single year over 50 billion. So when it comes to veganism or a plant-based diet, it's really a win, win, win. So just being able to eat more abundantly without restricting and noticing that the weight was coming off and I went back to just the way my body naturally wanted to be pretty yeah. effortlessly was probably the biggest perk. I wanted to heal my gut, cure my acid reflux, my indigestion, and I did. And like you've said before, like we feel better now in our 30s yeah. than we ever did in our 20s. Yeah. And also the fact that that there is nothing that you cannot get from plant sources right. that you need to get from animal sources. Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome or welcome back to Eat Move Rest. This video is made possible by this week's sponsor, Aspiration. So where you put your money could be either helping or harming the environment. We'll yep. get more into that later. So we've got super exciting news for you guys. If you haven't already heard, we have opened up a second Eat Move Rest Costa Rica retreat. Yes. It's gonna be in a brand new location called Punta Mona, which is actually on the Caribbean side. Yep. And it's just 20 steps from the ocean. So next year's first retreat got filled up in like record time. So we have been desperately searching for a second location and Punta Mona is going to be it. So this was actually recommended to us by our friend Darren Aline who was on the show Down to Earth with Zac Efron and Punta Mona was actually featured in the Costa Rica episode. All of that being said, we actually did not realize that Punta Mona was on the show until re-watching it yeah. after we already booked it for our next retreat. Totally. So we're like doubly excited now because it's like kind of famous and again, we're super excited to go there. We've actually already started filling spots. So I think we've got like seven or eight spots left and if you're interested, Again, and joining us on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica next March, definitely click the link below, <laughs> fill out an application, and hopefully we'll see you there. So today marks our seven year vegan <laughs> anniversary or our vegan anniversary. <laughs> right, it's also almost our eight year wedding anniversary in just a couple of weeks. So yeah, we thought we would sit down and talk a little bit about what our journey has been like these last seven-ish years and tell you guys why we maybe went vegan and why more importantly, we're still vegan. Yeah, so I guess all across the board between still being married, still being vegan, <laughs> why are we still committed to right. this life process together right. and what benefits have we reaped? It changed a lot for us. So we totally. can just kind of maybe jump into like really quick the health benefits. Um, like Dusty said, you can check out our other videos. We'll also kind of take a deeper dive into animal welfare and the environment just so you guys can kind of become more familiar with the lesser discussed yep. aspects of this lifestyle. So when it comes to veganism or a plant-based diet, it's really a win, win, win. And first and foremost, the health benefits or health side effects of a plant-based diet for me were immense. Number one, I wanted to heal my gut, cure my acid reflux, my indigestion, and I did. So I was on medication for a few years actually, and while transitioning to a plant-based diet, I was able to come off the medication. After about another year, it took a while, I was completely acid reflux, discomfort free, and that to me was so, like, so exciting. For me, I would say I had gained a significant amount of weight in college, so just being able to eat more abundantly without restricting and noticing that the weight was coming off and I went back to just the way my body naturally wanted to be pretty yeah. effortlessly was probably the biggest perk. So like Dusty said, I had been experiencing a lot of anxiety as well as very disheartening symptoms. Doctors didn't have diagnoses. Long story short, my diet fixed them. In my search for like what happens when you go vegan, these are some of the things that have indeed happened for us and that again, Google says will most likely happen. So you've got increased energy, Ding. better, more glowing skin, for sure. better digestion, less brain fog, less yep. anxiety and stress, better sleep, yeah. <laughs> improved athletic performance, totally. um, improved cardiovascular health, lower blood pressure, yep. weight management, and like we said, you're able to eat in abundance, especially if you're not just vegan, but whole foods plant-based. Totally. It seems like every year that we're vegan, I actually feel like I'm getting stronger, healthier, feeling younger, and it's no joke. And like you've said before, like we feel better now in our 30s yep. than we ever did in our 20s, yep. which is really exciting and has been all the more reason to continue on this lifestyle 
and also the fact that there is nothing that you cannot get from plant sources right. that you need to get from animal sources. Right, so speaking of animals and what we don't need from them, that actually brought us to like our second tier of like woke veganism was actually understanding that animals' lives really do matter. Growing up, I was a self-professed animal lover. I thought I was gonna be a veterinarian <laughs> slash wildlife photographer, no joke. Yep. <laughs> and at some point we realized there's this disconnect between loving Fido, who's laying by your feet, and then sitting down and eating your juicy burger. There just seemed to be like, what's the difference between a dog and a cow? There really is no difference. Right, so the more research you do, you actually find that pigs are actually more intelligent than dogs. And even though Bo is like a pretty smart dog, <laughs> like if you think about that, it seems weird that we keep pigs in cages and mostly just use them for meat. It seems cruel and harsh and scary. And especially once you've been on this diet and lifestyle, or even if you're not vegan, you now know that we don't need them to survive. Why would we kill them? Why would we continue raising them just for death? <laughs> right, I think as far as like that personal connection, something that really hit home for me was not just hearing that a mother cow actually cries and the infant baby cow cries when they're separated. Right. Hearing that, seeing it on TV is one thing, but yep. then when we were in Costa Rica the very first year, I think, yeah. we were coming into Farm of Life on this bumpy gravel road and there was a farm and just like a small mom and pop farm and there was a mother cow that had literally, we watched her birth her calf and yeah. we parked on the side of the road and waited until the calf finally stood up to nurse. It probably yeah. took about 25 minutes, no joke. Yeah. But we sat there in awe, just like awestruck at this whole process. Totally. And to me, it clicked all of a sudden because we had also just had Max, who right. was three months old, right. and feeling that like mama bear connection <laughs> and then seeing the cow with that same connection, it was yeah. like, holy cow, like yeah, what are seriously. we doing? <laughs> There's over 50 billion animals raised for meat in the US every single year, over 50 billion. Like that's insane. There's only like what, 400 million of us people in the US. So it's like, wow, think about all of that death. It actually seems gruesome to think about all of that life just for death. I actually like going to vegancalculator.com. Maybe you've been vegan for seven years. You can type that in and it'll actually tell you like how much water and how many animal lives you've saved. And it seems really cool. It makes us realize that just one person can really have a huge impact. Maybe you can put our seven year stats right here. Right, okay, I'll put our seven year <laughs> stats right here somewhere. <laughs> if you go vegan for 30 days, you end up saving 30 animals' lives. You also save 620 pounds of harmful carbon dioxide emissions. You save 913 square feet of forest, which I would say is probably like your average apartment size. You also save over 33,000 gallons of water. Which is crazy. Like to me, the water is like the biggest thing. I mean, again, it like pains me every time I have to flush the toilet because I know that our water is like running out and like some people and places don't have fresh drinking water. So I think it's safe to say that since hosting several retreats down in Costa Rica now, we have felt more connected than ever to the environment. We've been surrounded by a bunch of hippies in the jungle living in these eco-friendly, sustainable, zero waste types of living situations, learning about off-grid lifestyles, yeah. and it has really connected us more and more to wanting to maintain and sustain this beautiful planet that we live on totally. and coming to find out there is so much deforestation and habitat destruction going on right. due to animal agriculture is just super disheartening totally and again like i said before like it really makes me think every time i flush the toilet or we run the dishwasher or like take an extra long shower because max wants to play like i actually think twice about it because again we go to places like costa rica which by the way is like a 99 percent carbon free country they have reforested their country like they're doing everything right which is why we love to go there and host retreats there and then we come home and we hear facts like we're raising 50 billion animals for meat consumption mm -hmm. and it's like what why and so yeah again this and then a number of other things have woken us up to the impact we're having and 
realizing that we can have less of an impact by simply eating a plant-based diet is one of the main reasons for me that I am still vegan. So I think about driving on the country road out to our Airbnb and along the way you see farm upon farm just littered with livestock and yeah. the ground is completely trampled. It's just nothing but mud and right. poop and it smells bad. Right. And then we go down to Costa Rica and we stay at the Farm of Life and yeah. this next retreat we're hosting at Punta Mono. These are fully sustainable farms yeah. growing all of their own fruiting trees, herbs, vegetables right there on the farm totally. and how much less space it's taking up right. and how thriving it is there. It's so lush and beautiful and everything lives off of one another right. and the food is so nourishing because the soil is rich and you yep. just come back home and you look at you know the over tilled over plowed yep. um, nutrient void farm farmland and it's like what are we missing here totally we're doing it all so backwards so again one individual me you can have a huge impact by simply adopting a plant-based diet. And something that recently popped up for us was money and how where we put our money might actually also be harming the environment. It's kind of funny how the stars just align because we had been talking a lot about how our money was just sitting in the bank, not growing, right. and it felt really stagnant to us. Yep. And lo and behold, I was listening to the Rich Roll podcast, our favorite, and he was talking about banking and yep. when you put your money in a traditional bank yep. it's honestly not just sitting there like we're all led to believe even though it's doing <laughs> nothing for us it's not growing yep. the banks are actually using our money a lot of times to do things that we wouldn't agree with that aren't in alignment like funding private prisons right. tobacco and even fossil fuels totally. so that really hit home and I'm like, well, what do I do? You know, my money's in the bank, but where do I put it instead? Totally. And then step number three, aspiration <laughs> popped up and all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, this is so clear. Like yeah. God is sending us a signal right now. Totally. <laughs> so again, you guys know that we actually like to share products that we believe in, that we recommend. And this is a company that is actually changing the game. They're working for the environment. They're working for people. They're working for mindful, healthy, plant-based vegan hippies like us that actually want to make a difference not just in the way we eat in the way we live but now even the way we like spend and save our money right so they are a digital banking alternative they yep. have a super seamless beautiful website and app which makes yep. me like it even more <laughs> it's really easy to transfer funds from your bank to your aspiration account yep. and they give you a debit card it's actually made from recycled ocean plastic right. they have a plant your change that you can either opt in or out of but when you opt in it rounds up to the nearest dollar and yep. donates that money towards planting a tree they've already dedicated totally. themselves to planting I think over three million trees which is super cool totally so like again I said before when it comes to water and environment like I like knowing like the toilets we just put in our house are like the eco toilets and it's like I don't have to try but I'm saving water just like this I don't necessarily have to think or try but when I use my debit card at the grocery store that extra change goes to planting a tree and I think that is so cool mm -hmm. that there are companies like aspiration out there who are bridging the gap between us and the changes that need to be made in the world they're making it easy for us to make an impact yeah, they're also a certified B Corp. Yep. They are 1% for the planet certified, and they do work with what's called a conscience coalition. It's yep. a group of other companies that are eco-friendly and sustainable. Yep. Some of our favorites being Warby Parker and Reformation. Yep. So you will get a little bit of kickbacks and discounts yep. when you use your Aspiration Plus card with them. So there are so many benefits, and the most important thing is your money isn't going to fund fossil fuels and all of these other scary things that are harming the environment. Environment, totally. And they're taking 10% and actually donating it towards worthy causes. Yeah, I think Tom's too, like Tom's Shoes is actually part of that coalition. So all of these things that we've been discussing are the reasons why we've been on a plant-based vegan diet for seven years. It's positively impacted our individual health. We've saved endless animal lives and we are constantly helping to improve and save the environment. 
There's always ways we can do better. Yep. I know that maybe not everybody has a compost, so before <laughs> you go out and you roll your sleeves up buying some wood and nails and figuring <laughs> that whole process out, it could be as simple as taking literally yep. five minutes to transfer funds to a banking alternative like Aspiration. Totally. There's so many ways you can help the environment, and that is a major one that a lot of us just don't think about because we don't know about. Totally. So I would say comment below, like what are some what are some of the things that you do to again improve your health to help save animal lives or people's lives or save the environment so yeah comment below what are you guys doing to fix your own health to help save the environment and let us know if you liked this video you know you guys know the drill give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that bell to stay notified when we post new content here don't forget, if you're interested, sign up quickly for our Eat, Move, Rest Costa Rica retreat number two coming next March. And stay tuned for next week's video as well. I'll be doing a pregnancy update, sharing what I'm eating, birth plan, all that kinds of fun stuff because yeah. we're down to just about five weeks till baby number two is here. Crazy. <laughs> Wish us luck. We love you guys. Eat, Move, Rest, your best. Bye, guys. Peace. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our mind on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.